Hi friends, Ms. Cassie here with Solon Public Library's Digital Storytime. This summer, we are reading all about the colors of the rainbow, and this week we're reading stories about the color green. But first we need to sing our welcome song, and we need to get our clapping hands ready. So we're gonna wiggle our fingers and shake our hands and rub them together really fast, really fast, really fast. And put them on our knees. Okay. Here we go. If you wanna read a book, clap your hands. If you wanna read a book, clap your hands. If you wanna read a book, have a seat and take a look. If you wanna read a book, clap your hands. What do we do after we clap our hands? That's right, we stomp our feet. If you want to read a book, stomp your feet. If you want to read a book, stomp your feet. If you want to read a book, have a seat and take a look. If you want to read a book, stomp your feet. What do we do after we stomp our feet? That's right, we twirl around. If you wanna read a book, twirl around. If you wanna read a book, twirl around. If you wanna read a book, have a seat and take a look. If you wanna read a book, twirl around. All right, for our last verse, we're gonna be as quiet as we can. And we're gonna whisper, hooray. If you want to read a book, whisper hooray, hooray. If you want to read a book, whisper hooray, hooray. If you want to read a book, have a scene and take a look. If you want to read a book, whisper hooray, hooray. Our theme song this summer is Colors That We Know. So remember, we're going to count the colors on our fingers and then make the rainbow in the sky. Red and orange, green and blue, happy yellow, purple too. These are the colors that we know way up high in the great rainbow. Yay! Our first book today is Where is the Green Sheep? Written by Mem Fox and illustrated by Judy Horsacek. Horacek, excuse me. All right. Where is the green sheep? We're going to be looking in this book. See if you can see the green sheep. Here is the blue sheep. And here is the red sheep. Here is the bath sheep. <laughs> and here is the bed sheep. But where is the green sheep? Here is the thin sheep. And here is the wide sheep. Here is the swinging sheep, and here is the slide sheep. But where is the green sheep? I haven't seen the green sheep yet. Have you? Let's keep looking. Here is the up sheep, and here is the down sheep. Here is the band sheep. Oh, what instruments is that sheep playing? They're playing, it looks like, a guitar, a drum, a xylophone, and a tuba. That is a lot of instruments for one sheep to play. Oh, and here is the clown sheep. But where is the green sheep? Here is the sun sheep, and here is the rain sheep. And here is the car sheep, and here is the train sheep. But where is the green sheep? 
Yeah, all these sheep look like they are white sheep, except for the blue and the red sheep at the beginning. I haven't seen a green sheep yet. Here is the wind sheep, and here is the wave sheep. Here is the scared sheep, and here is the brave sheep. But where is the green sheep? Here is the near sheep, and here is the far sheep. Here is the moon sheep, and here is the star sheep. But where is the green sheep? Do you see the green sheep in this picture? I see a purple sheep, and I see a red sheep. And I see a yellow sheep. And I see all kinds of sheep doing different things. There's even a sheep that is flying, but no green sheep. Where is that green sheep? All right, we're gonna turn the page quietly. Let's take a peep. Here is our green sheep. Fast asleep. All right, do you remember where the green sheep was in our book? That's right, our little green sheep was fast asleep. And she was asleep behind a bush. But we are going to take our little green sheep and she is going to take a nap in one of these different books. And we're going to try to find the, the green sheep. And we're going to say, where is the green sheep? <laughs> and then we'll pick a book uh, to look behind and see if the green sheep is sleeping in that book. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Okay, let's look at the colors of our books. We have a red book, an orange book, a yellow book, a blue, or excuse me, a green book, a blue book, and a purple book. So let's say, where is the green sheep? Is she in the orange book? Let's look and see. Oh, no green sheep. All right, we gotta keep looking. Where is the green sheep? Is she in the green book? Let's look and see. Oh, no green sheep. We have to keep looking. Where is the green sheep? Is she in the blue book? Let's look and see. Oh, yep, there she is, fast asleep. <laughs> Should we play again? Okay, here we go. Okay, we have our books, blue, green, yellow, purple, orange, red. But where is the green sheep? Is she in the red book? Let's look and see. <gasps> nope, no green sheep. We'll have to keep looking. Where is the green sheep? Is she in the orange book? Let's look and see. Nope, no green sheep. We'll have to keep looking. Where is the green sheep? Is she in the yellow book? Let's look and see. Yep, there she is, fast asleep. The next book that we're gonna read for story time this week has the color green and it has numbers. So we're gonna sing a number song. This one is called 
one, two. How do you do? And we have some different actions, so we're going to practice those first, and then we're going to do our rhyme together. So the rhyme goes like this. One, two, how do you do? Three, four, jump on the floor. Five, six, pick up sticks. Seven, eight, stand up straight. Nine, ten, do it over again. And we'll start over. And we're going to do it together two times. And the second time, we will end with nine, ten. That's the end. Do you think you can remember it all? <laughs> okay, here we go. One, two, how do you do? Three, four, jump on the floor. Five, six, pick up sticks. Seven, eight, stand up straight. Nine, ten, do it over again. One, two, how do you do? Three, four, jump on the floor. Five, six, pick up sticks. Seven, eight, stand up straight. Nine, ten, and that's the end. Good counting, friends, yay! Way to go. You are all set to count in our next book. Our last book today is called Frog Counts to Ten. Hmm, didn't we just count to ten? <laughs> we did! So you are all set for this book. It is written and illustrated by John Liebler. All right, keep an eye out for some of these numbers in the illustrations, in the pictures of this book. Frog could not play hide and seek with the other animals because he could not count to 10. Hmm, look at Frog's face, how is he feeling? Hmm, yeah, he's feeling sad. He wants to play with his friends. He was one lonely frog. Do you see the number one in this picture? Yeah, Frog is all curled up in the number one. So he went for a ride on his two-wheeled bicycle. Two, do you see the number two in the picture? It's a little tricky, but if you look at his arm, it makes a number two. Can you show me two with your hands? Two, good job. He was coasting along at three miles an hour. Do you see the three hiding in the picture? Yeah, it goes around his eye and his jaw. You can see the three. Can you show me your threes? Yeah, three. When he was distracted by four flies. And what do frogs like to eat? Flies. So he sticks out his tongue and look, his tongue looks like the number Four. Can you show me your fours? Just like that. Good job. And he accidentally rode off a five foot drop. Oh no. Look at his legs. What number are they making? That's right. The number five. Five. He bounced six times on the way down and landed on his head. Do you see the number six in the picture? Yeah, it's part of the bounce, right? And it looks, let's see, let me do it so you can see. It looks like a six. Can you show me your six with your, your hands? Five and one is six, good job. <laughs> so he bounced on his head and he saw seven stars. Have you ever heard that saying that if you hit your head really hard, they call it seeing stars? And Frog saw stars. He saw seven of them. And look, can you find the number seven in the book? In the picture? Yeah, 
It's his arm over his head. It looks like the number seven. And he also saw eight doctors. It was good that he went to the hospital because he hit his head very hard. Do you see the number eight in the picture? Yeah, his two eyes together are making a number eight. And the doctors gave him, oops, nine, nine bandages. And look, we can count them on his body. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we can also see that his arm looks like the number nine. They also gave him a bill for $10. And Frog looks shocked by that amount, but I think a lot of us would be very happy to only get a hospital bill for just $10. And where do you see the number 10 in this picture? I see a little one and a zero made out of his tongue. Do you see that? A one and a zero. Yeah, and can you show me all 10 of your fingers? Five and five is 10. <sighs> what a day. That night, Frog couldn't sleep. So he thought about the day he'd had. He thought about how he'd been one lonely frog on a two-wheeled bicycle, coasting at three miles an hour, and then he realized he could count to 10. Yay, frog! So what does it mean he can count to 10? So now he can, what can he do? He can count to 10 and let's see. The next day, frog told the other animals about his adventure and what he had learned. Then he announced, now I can play hide and seek because I can count to 10. That's right. So there we go. Let's count together. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not? Here I come. <laughs> oh, and then look at this last illustration, this last picture. All the numbers from one through 10 are hidden in this picture. So I think you might just have to check this book out from the library so you can look closer and you can find all the numbers in that last picture. The end. All right, friends, that's the end of our green story time. And the special secret code this week for your summer reading is SHEEP, S-H-E-E-P, just like our first book, Where is the Green Sheep? But now it's time to sing our goodbye song. We read a book and we played a game and we sang a song together. We read a book and we played a game. We had a fun adventure. Now go read a book and go play a game and sing. Bye.